I feel pretty good because, I mean, the last tournament I, I placed first and then second, which is really good. So I feel like I can keep being this consistent throughout this year and I think I can be number one. So what I'm expecting for this tournament is to win. I really want to win. And if not, then at least make grand finals. Right now I feel way more motivated because I feel like skill-wise I can be the best player in the world. So it's just a matter of time like I can show it in tournaments. I've been telling this myself that if I win this tournament, then I think I'm the undisputed best. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm more motivated than ever to do that. Aside from the fact that I play way better skill-wise, I feel like my mental state is in a way better spot than last year. So like last Genesis, I was like not in that spot, but I was not as motivated as I am right now. So I think I, I can do way better than last time. And I also feel like uh, skill-wise, I have improved a lot. So I feel pretty confident. Because I've been teaming with Jack for like um, three, four years now. And, and we're really good friends and we also care about doubles a lot. So like last year we won doubles and it was our first tournament we won in like three years. So we want to win again. Yeah. Wow. So, oh my God. my God. Did he do that on purpose? I can't I think believe he it. might have. Spargo has been so button happy and this is the exact gameplay that I was expecting from Spargo and Chag in the first place. Stay oh. strong here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good discipline right here. Oh that my god, was that was brilliant. Amazing. That was so, who doesn't try to get out after Limit Cross Slash? I'm that sent. Oh no, oh, that's smash. crazy. Yeah. You just yeah. did it? Oh, smash. I can't believe you just did it. Grab there you on Smash. He's going to do it on the other side. What? One hell of a set, though, to close out Genesis 9, double tier, and Smash Ultimate. Yeah, so when I first started getting into competitive scene, the first tournament I watched was Genesis. I said this last year, and I say it again, this is why I really want to win Genesis. And it's like my dream to win this tournament, because I've been watching this tournament since I was like 10 years old. So if I win this, uh, and also become the best in the world in the process, that would be like a dream come true. There's still the pressure that, uh, that it's Genesis, so I have that pressure that I really want to win and I really want to be good. And I'm going to try not to put too much pressure on myself because I feel like I can just play like the last tournaments and I should be fine. It's just, right. it's just the explosive start that Spargo has as a player too. It's always so entertaining to watch. Not going to get the tornado. I'm going to get the back hit about Smash for Trouble into the spike. Did the, uh, the side beat down. And that, yeah, that forward air is going to kill him out of that tornado. Show taking at least that first stock, but at 55% on his last stock, you're gonna get poked out. Pick his nose real quick with that. <laughs> it feels really crazy because it's the feeling that I'm the closest I've ever been to reaching my dream because I've been chasing the number one spot for like for like six years now. So it feels crazy to be really close to that point. So that's also why I'm, I'm like really motivated to win this tournament. Because here they are, top eight qualifier, right? But only one can continue in the winner's side of top eight. Who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be Spargo? Is it gonna be Sonic? Spargo's just so well engaged with Sonic's. I mean, he just can't get anything going. Oh my God, the spacing, run it back, three stock confirmed. And Spargo is not afraid to pull the trigger on some of these edge guards, and especially in the corner, Spargo just Known for his corner pressure with Cloud. 100%. I mean, Sonic's dodging everything, avoids the up air, but the dash attack was just waiting. Perfect trapping from Spargo. I don't know what's going on right now. I this mean, there's gonna be tough. There are no SDs out here at all. This is all Sonic straight up outplaying Spargo. Three stocks and one rolls through the limit option. The spring, is it enough? Oh, the down air! Wow! <laughs> because of that, but do you feel like some people are coming for you because you're at the top? Mm, I mean, I usually never think about that anymore because all it does is just, it just makes me nervous, so I try not to think about that. Like, all I try to, all I have in my mind is just 
uh, look who are my opponents and just win. Like, I don't think about anything else. Here we go to game number one of this set, though. It's going to be a good one. Spargo is starting to calibrate here. The uh -oh. knee trap, but Dragon that's Man, the is, Yes! What I'm a play! And Spargo just not, just completely re relentless when it comes to the pacing. Uh, Spargo's like, all right, right now, I'm cooking, and I'm just going to keep up in the pace. I'm going to keep playing as fast as possible. And it feels like kind of overwhelming out in both this game and the last. Oh, try to get oh, the deep back air. Oh, but you're up against yes, Living Cloud on stage. And Spargo just pulls the reverse Uno. Yesterday, I played top 54. I lost to Sonic. And to be honest, I'm not surprised I lost because Sonic is a really good player. And we've been grinding Wi-Fi for the last, like, two weeks. So we play, like, almost every day. I also don't feel like I played bad at all. I feel like I played good, it's just that I got outplayed it. I don't have I don't have excuses. I he played way better than me. So right now, I'm in loser side. I think I can win because I, I say I have this deep matchup figured out. So so I I say I feel confident, but it's still Aqua. He's still the like number two in the world, so so let's see what happens. No one wants to go home right now. These guys are some of the best in the world. They're trying to get to that grand finals some way, somehow. Last Ooh, lap because wow. of the crafting table. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> the extension. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Wait. That boy's swinging. Run what did back. I tell He don't stop swinging. Right? Margo is a dangerous one, man. I mean, he said he let the nerves get to him yesterday. I mean, so much pressure to just maintain that streak of potentially being the best right now. What oh, you oh, oh, He's like, help, help, help me. Help me. <laughs> Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Austin a little bit up the limit too, but gonna get a straight back air. It might oh, be that free one. And it's going to rip and you gon' dip. Easy money. I shouldn't have even be in losers bracket. That, yeah, that's what. That's the vibe I'm getting from Spargo right now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh! Phase up because Spargo 3-0 over a cola. That was oh. actually just disgusting. That was rough, man. A cola would look like a subcontractor because he was building, but that was not his house. Like I don't know what was going on there, bro. That was that was crazy. I mean, I think the only difference is that this tournament is Genesis and it's like way more important than the other tournaments. But the thing is, I have already done it before, so I don't see why I cannot do it. But the thing is, it's not that easy. If I want to win a tournament, I have to uh, make it all the way to Grand Finals and win two sets. I can, I can do it. I just like have to be prepared for whatever, for whatever happens. Spargo, somebody who came in here with a lot of expectations, guys. Like, really feels like he's on the cusp of absolutely being considered the best player undisputedly. But a win here at Genesis would help a lot. Got to do it the hard way, though. I mean, these guys are just going to go at it yeah. off the bat. They're already in each other's face. Oh, wait oh, a minute. Wow. Oh, 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 oh wait, no. no. That's, That's a bounce off. Spargo. Got a feeling Spargo's definitely going to have something to say about that. I okay. need to off stage real quick. Like, I'm trying to connect this back here. Reset the lane. There oh, another Andrew great Nair. Nair. Man. How many reverse nares are we gonna it's get? It's Nair Jordan, boy, you better understand. He's going to the ledge. Oh, here we go. Light so what, yo. easily hey, just man. Yo. That one. Yeah, I told you, boys, he was fiending to get to that game, too. Oh, you're playing. Oh, my God. Two steps ahead wow. right there. And after that, he's going to go ahead and execute on that firebox. Oh, 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 my goodness. 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 I never know that he's not supposed to be in the losers bracket, right? Max, maybe the home field advantage for Fox here will be the key. Yeah. The crowd is getting crazy for this set right now. Spargo, I only need to find himself probably an up smash uh, now to go ahead and get back into it. We're going to lose their stock for it, but man, Spargo in a bad oh. position. That's it. And his last position going to benefit light. I mean, that was just simply incredible. Pop off deserved bounce back game from what we saw in game number four the fourth game to the game.
When I started Smash, competitive, I was like 10 years old. What would I tell him? Mm, as simple as it sounds, I would just tell him to like never give up and to be patient because because one mistake a lot of people make when they're starting is that they don't get the results they want right away and they get frustrated because of that. But they need to understand that it takes a, quite a lot of time. Going to this year, I just wanna thank my family and my friends and just in general my fans who've been supporting me throughout this past year and I'm gonna try to, to make my best to try to get that number one spot this year.